Ever wondered how the Asian Development Bank contributes to the growth of Asia? Well, there's a fascinating story behind it. The Asian Development Bank, fondly known as the ADB, is an international financial institution that plays a pivotal role in the economic landscape of Asia. With a mission to foster sustainable economic growth and reduce poverty, the ADB is truly a beacon of hope for the Asia and Pacific region. This powerful institution is not just about numbers and finance, it's about people, progress, and potential. It's about harnessing the power of economic growth to transform lives and communities. With a clear vision of an Asia and Pacific region free of poverty, the ADB is committed to making a tangible difference, one project at a time. So buckle up as we embark on this journey to understand the workings of the Asian Development Bank. So let's delve into the story of this impactful institution. The Asian Development Bank didn't just pop up overnight. It has a rich history. The seeds for this powerhouse of regional development were sown in the year 1966. It was a time when the economies of most Asian countries were struggling to stand on their own. The founding member countries, a group of ambitious nations, recognized the need for a collective effort to uplift the region's economic scenario. These nations faced a multitude of initial challenges, from post-war economic instability to widespread poverty. But they were resolute in their mission, the objectives set were clear, to promote social and economic development in Asia and the Pacific. They envisioned an institution that would foster economic growth and cooperation and reduce poverty across the region. The establishment of the Asian Development Bank was the embodiment of this vision. The formation of ADB marked the beginning of a new era of economic development in Asia. A well-organized system is key to the success of any institution. The Asian Development Bank, or ADB, is a fine example of an institution with a well-structured system. Its organization is composed of a board of governors, a board of directors, and the management. At the top of this hierarchy, the board of governors, typically the finance ministers or central bank governors of the member countries, hold the highest authority. They meet annually to discuss the bank's operations and policies. The board of directors, on the other hand, is responsible for the general operations of the bank. They meet multiple times a year to discuss and approve the bank's operational strategies, business plans, budget, and financial matters. The management, led by the president, oversees the day-to-day -day operations of the bank. They ensure that the bank's policies and strategies are implemented effectively. Now, let's talk about how the ADB operates. Its primary tools are loans and grants which it provides to its member countries for development projects. These projects range from infrastructure and health to education and environmental protection. The ADB also provides technical assistance to its member countries. The bank operates on two main strategies, poverty reduction and sustainable development. It aims to achieve these goals through inclusive economic growth, environmentally sustainable growth, and regional integration. Indeed, the ADB's operations are a well-oiled machine, driving the engine of Asian economic growth. The Asian Development Bank is not just about lending money. This institution breathes life into diverse projects, introducing innovative products and extending multifaceted services that go beyond the typical banking sphere. The Asian Development Bank or the ADB has its fingers in many pies. It's involved in a wide range of sectors, from agriculture to finance and from transportation to education. The ADB is committed to achieving a prosperous, inclusive, resilient and sustainable Asia and the Pacific. To realize this vision, it has ventured into numerous projects that have a transformative impact on the lives of millions. Let's talk about some of these projects. In the energy sector, the ADB is championing renewable energy projects and advocating for energy efficiency. In the education realm, it's supporting the development of quality education systems that promote innovative and creative thinking. And when it comes to healthcare, the ADB is at the forefront of strengthening healthcare systems and improving access to health services. But the ADB is not just about big projects, it also offers a variety of financial products to its members. This includes different types of loans, such as project loans for specific projects and policy-based loans to support policy reforms. Additionally, the ADB provides equity investments to private sector projects. The bank also offers financial products and services that help manage risks related to currency exchange rates, interest rates, and commodity prices. And there's more. The ADB also provides technical assistance to its member countries. This assistance comes in the form of research, advice and training to support the development of its members' skills and capabilities. This goes a long way in strengthening institutional capacities 
improving governance, and enhancing project implementation. In essence, the ADB is more than a bank. It's a development partner, a knowledge provider, and a catalyst for change. It's an institution that understands the unique needs of its members and tailors its products and services to meet these needs. Through its diverse projects and services, ADB truly plays a pivotal role in shaping Asia's future. ADB's impact is widespread, reaching numerous countries across Asia. This regional development bank, known as the Asian Development Bank or ADB, boasts a membership of 68 countries. From Afghanistan to Vietnam, these member countries span the globe, with the majority hailing from the Asia and Pacific region, while others are from Europe and the Americas. Each member country is a part of the ADB for a reason. The criteria for membership is not merely geographical, rather, it's a commitment to the shared goal of reducing poverty and promoting sustainable economic growth in Asia and the Pacific. As members these countries receive numerous benefits. They're privy to financial resources, technical assistance, and policy advice. They gain access to the ADB's vast knowledge and expertise in infrastructure, health, education, climate change, and other areas crucial for development. But the benefits go beyond the tangible. Being a part of the ADB means being a part of a collective endeavor, a shared vision. It means having a voice in shaping the future of the region, contributing to policy decisions, and playing a role in fostering regional cooperation and integration. The Asian Development Bank with its member countries continues to strive for a prosperous, inclusive, resilient and sustainable Asia and the Pacific.